might be sounding a little different remember the other day when we were watching that combine and i said my camera got wet it didn't it don't work anymore so we're using the camera dad uses for the bob cam oh, I see. this morning we got a shipment of soybeans coming in from sea consultants they actually got here while i was taking the kids to school so i'm gonna run out here and see if that guy needs any help we got PMIs being done on the combines over to their farm, so I have to go get those out this morning. I know we've got some other crap going on, but I, I can't remember what it is now. This is the variety we're planting. Here's the germination. That's pretty good germ compared to last year. Got 500 units of it. Not bad. I want to fill this bin so far. I'm not getting filled. 500 units is going to fill it. But we're also going to put seed in that bin. So it'll be two varieties out of that bulk bin. It just makes it really convenient when during planting season to be able to pull the tender under those bins, load the tender, and leave. Okay, I'm heading over to the combine shed to get those things out for uh, the high wag guys before they get here. Really not much to that seed delivery. Not like they got to stack bags or anything. So. Little sloppy. Yeah, unfortunately, we did get quite a bit of rain this weekend. So. Also, unfortunately, half of my combines washed off. This is obviously not that half. Dirty? Clean. Fun, fun, fun. Also, in the midst of that monsoon that hit, I lost my headset up here. Oh, look, even half of this is clean up here and half of it's not. Perfect. There's my headset, right? There. Perfect. Now if it's just not ruined from the rain. I guess I better hurry up. I need to get this one out and this one. We're probably going to have to pull that tractor out to get that combine out though. So. thinking why don't you finish cleaning your combine off now well i would have done it yesterday or saturday after the rain but unfortunately whenever that monsoon hit the wind blew the pressure washer wand off the combine when i was getting down and it snapped it so it's like we need new parts for the pressure washer perfect that was a miracle that that combine started and so did the other one especially dad's his hasn't been moved for two months if you're new we're always fighting batteries over here, the other game right now. We still have three loads of corn to fly here. But, oh no. A solar light fell. Anyways, you guys still got two loads, two loads of grain to haul out of here. But I'm waiting on the electrician to come over here and wire up this bin. Try to find to see what all he got done. Because if we can, we need to core that bin. I'll have to core it by loading out through this new loadout pipe right, right there but I don't know if it's done yet. There he is. There's the master electrician. <laughs> I don't think he likes being on camera, but I also don't care. Nah, no AJ all my life, so. All right, we got some new camera parts. Not only did my camera get, ru get ruined, I'm, my lens did also. Bin guys are getting all the bins tied in, so hopefully that'll all be, all be finished up here in the next couple days. Looks like dad's getting bored. Yep, got a little bit of dirt to move over in the rear bottoms. Had a ditch kind of needed cleaned out, so did that and got to get rid of that dirt. And a couple trees need pushed back, so yeah, he's got well, probably a couple days worth of dozer work over there. Apparently, dad's gonna fill up the dozer and and unload down in the bottoms, so you might try it today. The guy working on my combine, Shane. Shane's from Minnesota. 
Shane doesn't have a coat on and he's wearing a t-shirt. It's 30 degrees here. So our kill you got the disconnect on? I got it on. Those won't do anything. Hey, we got dash lights. Hey, there we go. Well, I want you to look at these tire tire tracks. This fella backing up, don't know what he's doing. I can hear George now. You're oversteering! You're oversteering! Just watch one side! Just watch one side! He don't ever say that when it's the boss man that's doing the oversteering, though. I think we're going to make him nervous with this camera. We'll get real close, so that way he can see it. Now, folks, I am going to leave this camera with Dad if he's doing this dozing work, so... Be sure to turn on your subtitles. We haven't had a good Bob Cam session for a while, or Subtitle Bob, as my brother called him. Turn on the subtitles. Go, I think you have to click on the top right corner of your video. There'll be a thing where you can get subtitles. You're gonna love them, they're hilarious. They're probably funny for my brother and I too, but dad takes the cake in that department. This is the ground that I was ripping there a couple days ago. Looks pretty good. Nice and soft. Just decimated those corn stalks. Wasn't exactly straight on the rows like, like I would have liked to, but this field's also been turbo maxed, so didn't really need to. Yeah, but hopefully this ground will settle down and we can plant right into it. Doesn't look bad. Uh, yeah, that rolling basket on the back of that ripper really seems to help. Our other ripper, we have a blue jet, an older blue jet ripper. It does not have rolling basket. I think the shank's also a little bit thicker, so it blows more dirt out. You definitely have to run a disc or a turbo max something to smooth it up after you run it uh-oh had to pour up i mean i am giving him crap but he did he is backing this this trailer up like a mile a mile and a half here's the dirt we got to do something with Ditch needed cleaned out, so we gotta move some dirt. Okay, here we are. Uh, I'm gonna do some bulldozing. We've got to clear this dirt out down here in the bottom. Just clean this ditch out. Just scatter that dirt out. Just scattered out the field. All down to there. Behind us, all the way down back to there, too. Just clean the ditch out, trying to get uh, this water standing all back there behind us, all up through there. Move down to the river. Hey, buddy. Really cute, buddy. lens back on I'm actually using the camera my brother uses which is the same as the camera I always use but he had it this morning so <sighs> all right yeah, gotta take all these off got a phone call that they are in fact coming to get this today so get the cameras off there uh, you know I'm a pretty tall guy but I cannot reach those zip ties we gotta go find a ladder well, why are these things going to run another year? Probably. <laughs> Did you get that on camera? No, what was she doing? Dax, you want to go combine? Mm-hmm. He's really confused while the combines are out. Okay, we're going to do some more here film. Got Bob came out here, I guess that's what Brian everybody wants to call it, so he wanted me to get some more uh, spitty of it, bulldozing. We went from, oh, up there, so I'm going to scatter this dirt out. It's along this ditch, good way down the bottoms. And this is, uh, people don't know, haven't seen the channel before, this is a uh, 750 John Deere dozer. I think it's about an 04 model. Got a six-way blade. Uh, John Deere's, these dozers are hydrostatic. Uh, nice dozer, we like it. It's got, I think, about 5,000 hours on it, over 5,000 hours. It's a 
not a lot of hours on it. So I'll try to show you some things here maybe. This is the blade, six-way blade, angle tilts. And this is the forward and backwards. This lever here, then this here will speed it up and slow it down when you're going forward or backwards. And this is the throttle over here. It's got a decelerator down there. You kind of hit that every time you shift it. Try to. This is the park brake. So we got that off. We'll see what we can do here. Put it here. Yeah, I'll get the park, park brakes off now. But not real quiet. Not real loud either. Let's try to take about half the width. It's about a 10 foot blade. It's kind of feathered off what we're trying to do. We'll come back over when it dries out with a blade uh, behind the tractor. It's got a big six-way blade behind the tractor. It's a uh, 12 foot. Drag and smooth it out, run the disc over two times, and try to get it smoothed out. This is how you turn it. Turn it sideways one way or the other and it turns it. The bad part about bulldozing, clean it off. See underneath of there, them tracks, they had a mud, it's not too bad. Better than I thought it would be. But if it freezes very hard, why well, uh, that'll freeze, them tracks won't move. So I'd clean it out, it ain't supposed to freeze for a couple of days. Then also, if it freezes real hard, if you uh, don't set it on some boards or something, well, it'll freeze to the ground and you ain't gonna move it either, so. But it's not froze too bad, so we'll leave it here for the night. Come back tomorrow, hopefully. It looks like Dad's done dozing for tonight. Be interested to see what that footage looks like. Got the guys from Ohio Ag are done with the PMIs and the combine. I guess I should probably explain what that entails. Basically, they're going to go over the machine. They're going to start the separator up, make sure everything's working okay. They're going to check bearings with a heat gun, see what's about to go out of them and whatnot. So, it's, a, it's a good service. They also do an oil analysis and all that good stuff. And then they'll give us a list of parts uh, that need replaced and wear items. So now that our combines are getting some age to them, uh, we definitely try, we try to do that at least once every two years. We just went ahead and did it on both combines this year. So, yeah, it's a good pre preventative maintenance. Trying to get this combine tucked away in the corner. Uh, it's probably not coming out anytime soon, depending on how much we got to replace on it. We won't get our list of stuff to replace in this machine for a little while, but I'm going to get out of the way. Put the other combine in last. Uh, I'm hoping to finish washing it off tomorrow. Turns out my brother has a pressure washer since ours broke the other day. So I'm gonna snag it tomorrow. It's gonna be like 50 something, so finish washing that thing. I'd rather leave it dirty than it half washed. Happy to report that so far the twins are getting along well. Hasn't been any squabbles or anything. Ain't this a heck of a note clean? Dirty. Ay, ay, ay. Oh man, we never cleaned the top of that one off. There's corn up there. I never thought about it, but that roof looks really cool until you realize it holds corn. Oh, heck, we got like an extra two bushel storage up there. Cart tractor advantage. Now go to the other bins and load out. Hey, here we are. I think we're gonna get to try this load out for the first time. Uh, from what I understand, that bin's wired up and everything's ready to go. Hey, looky there, we even got labels. One thing that's gonna be kind of tricky with this, we don't have a holding bin, we don't have any way to shit the flow off to that pipe. So when we pull up the last time, uh, we might make a big mess. 
Definitely would make a mess if we don't take that tarp off. It's a 12 inch pipe, so that's gonna move a lot of corn. It's gonna not take very long to fill this truck. Fingers, fingers crossed this works. We're drawing our consigner though, it just doesn't feel right. So we're just gonna turn it off. We're turn it on, give it a try and see what happens. I'm not gonna run much through it. Well, we've got our distributor slash consigner working, but now we can't get the center stop open on this new bin. That's good. Yeah, I think we're out of here. Yeah, well, I think Master Electrician's going to have to come back and make some tweaks because unload motor shut off. I think that's a good place to wear a dust mask. Unfortunately, I didn't know that that time. First load. Well, I guess we'll have to see how tomorrow goes, but that's it for tonight.